U.S. we have four different species of cockroach that are pretty common. We have two that I'll break it down to that are the most common, which everyone knows, which is the American cockroach and the German cockroach. So the American cockroach is a larger, darker, reddish brown cockroach, and it's the one that's more prone to flying. And we see different spin-off species of them in the South that are very aggressive flyers. But California, New York, if you see a larger dark brown one, most likely it's the American cockroach. American cockroaches are mostly driven by decaying organic matter, i.e. garbage, and they're very moisture driven. So normally if you're seeing them, either it's indicative of a plumbing issue, maybe there's a crack in the sewage line under your house or in your building's basement, or there's an opening around the wall that leads out to where these plumbing lines are and that's how they've got in. These kind of cockroaches won't generally nest in your home proper because they need a relatively high temperature and an even higher humidity level. Most of us don't keep our homes as humid as they like. Where you will find them is in wherever your boiler is kept. So if you have a boiler room, that's where they can start setting up and nesting. When you start seeing them in your home, what it is is those cockroaches, your boiler line is basically, the boiler is kind of like the heart of your building and all of your radiator lines and your water lines for your shower and your sinks, they all radiate out from this boiler. So when the cockroaches are nesting there and then they're tracing water lines, they're gonna start popping up in your home wherever these water lines come out, around your radiators, under your sinks, in your bathrooms. And so the best thing to do in that scenario is to try to identify all of the areas where the pipes are entering your home and make sure that they're fully sealed around using something like a foam. At that point, you do also probably want to get a pest control uh, professional in to look at the boiler room and ideally address it at the source. For German cockroaches, these are really good hitchhikers and they tend to come in with packages, shipments, boxes. Sometimes you don't even realize it. A lot of larger warehouses, Amazon warehouses, food warehouses. These are areas where they're so massive that it's hard to keep track of if there's tiny pests that might get into boxes and then come into your home. They can even be in your soda cases that come in from the grocery store. Once they come in, they're such proficient breeders that with only a little bit of food and water, they can spin out a pretty large population very quickly. A single female cockroach, if already pregnant, can create 48 baby cockroaches within a week or two. Then you have exponential. Those 50 cockroaches, they have no problem breeding with each other. And then you have 250 cockroaches. So left to go for a couple of months, you can have a very large population very quickly. With German cockroaches, the number one thing to do is similar to ants. Get rid of all food, go through all of your pantries and cupboards, make sure there's no food for them to access and keep everything bone dry, no water. Once you've done that, the German cockroach Similar to the bed bug, they like to harbor themselves in very narrow crevices, only slightly wider than their body, so about four millimeters. The kind of area where you're gonna find four millimeter gaps is under the countertop in your kitchen, between the countertop and the drawers, in the backs of your cabinets, behind the shelving. These are the kind of areas where if you can take two credit cards and slide it in, it's probably the kind of area where a German cockroach is going to nest. And so again, if you're not too skeeved out by it, you can take all of the things out of all of your kitchen cabinetry, get your vacuum ready, and you can most likely take out about 90% of the population just by aggressively vacuuming and going through your cabinets one by one.